There are millions of viruses, but only a little over 200 are known to infect humans. Most of those viruses are spread from animals to people, and that number seems to be on the rise. Here's why. When disease-causing viruses and other organisms jump from animals to people, they're called zoonotic diseases. Zoonotic diseases are common, and the list of them is long, but some of the most well-known in the U.S. include rabies, salmonella, and Lyme disease. The virus that causes COVID-19 also has zoonotic origins. Harmful germs like viruses, bacteria, parasites, and fungi can spread from animal to human in five different ways. Direct contact, like petting or getting scratched. Indirect contact, which could mean touching a contaminated surface like a chicken coop. Vector-borne, like being bitten by a mosquito. Food-borne, such as consuming undercooked meat. Or water-borne, like drinking contaminated water. HIV, for example, is believed to be a zoonotic disease. It's a virus that attacks the body's immune system and if not treated, can lead to AIDS. Studies show that HIV may have jumped from chimpanzees to humans as far back as the late 1800s in Central Africa. Scientists believe that the virus was probably passed to humans when people hunted these chimpanzees for meat and came into contact with infected blood. Zoonotic diseases are on the rise. 60% of all infectious diseases are transmitted from animal to human because of these three main factors. First, climate degradation and overpopulation are causing humans to push farming and hunting into what were once forests and wildlands. This alters the natural ecosystems, eliminating that buffer zone between humans and wild animals. Then, there's the increasing demand for meat, which means more intensive livestock farming and more opportunities for exposure. Last, antimicrobial drug resistance can be built up in livestock. So by the time the bacteria reach humans, antibiotics are no longer effective. Some animals like rodents, bats, carnivores, and non-human primates are most likely to harbor zoonotic diseases, while livestock acts as a bridge for transmission between animal hosts and humans. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.